At the beginning of the 16th century, the Spanish, sailing in the Caribbean waters, arrived on the shores of an unexplored land, exhausted from their voyage and eager for conquest. Costa Rica holds wondrous treasures they could not imagine. Not in minerals beneath the soil, but in every droplet of rain that falls on the thriving greenery of the jungle canopy. In every exotic bird that soars through the treetops. Each tiny critter, blooming orchid and sparkling stream create untold wealth. Under the shelter of isolation, humbled by the magic of the landscape, the nation quietly blossomed. Costa Rica is a country of character, of equality and peace, bursting with vibrant colors and sensual flavors. Everything is, as the locals say, pura vida, pure light. I'm Damon Redford, a traveler wandering through a wilderness. Seeking? Well, just seeking. Here in Costa Rica, I will journey deep into the heart of the mystical forest, along jungle paths, over steep mountains, and over restless shores. And if I am lucky, they might reveal their secrets. Costa Rica is bordered by Nicaragua to the north and Panama to the south, a relatively tiny landmass, and yet it boasts nearly 5% of the world's biodiversity. Costa Rica ranks number one on the Happy Planet Index, which scores countries on the eco-policies, which not only preserve the environment but nurture the population as well. At least 25% of the land is designated as protected territory. No other nation treats their landscape with so much love, and Costa Ricans are happier for it. Tourists are drawn to the energy here, arriving in droves to forge their own connection with the environment. Before I began my own journey, I met with Gina, a representative from the Tourism Board. Gina, could you tell me something about the philosophy behind the certification of sustainable tourism here in this country? Costa Rica has been worried about conservation forever. You know, we started many years ago, and um, when we uh, decided to protect our land, to declare 25% of our land as protected areas, we had to do something to make these uh, areas produce. You know, you cannot protect something if it's not sustainable. We wanted to promote sustainable tourism in any other kind of tourism, in any other niche. So for, um, to have sun and beach sustainable and um, business tourism sustainable, we needed to create some label to re really dif differentiate uh, the businesses that were really sustainable from the ones that were just greenwashing. So we created this um, seal. In an effort to protect the environment, the land became their livelihood and transformed into a deep-seated passion. No longer by obligation or virtue, Costa Ricans cradle their natural world as a vital piece of their soul. What impact did it have on the businesses or the companies that were involved? At first it was mostly people who did that because of the philosophy. But now um, we've been working to really help them use this as a marketing strategy. So Costa Rica has been uh, recognized as like the, the epicenter of ecotourism and sustainable tourism. So these businesses use this um, seal to uh, differentiate themselves. And what are your goals? We hope we're going to be a carbon neutral destination by the year 2021. We want to get more and more of the, of the different hotels and two operators uh, to join the, the, the label. So your, your logo for Costa Rica is no artificial ingredients, which yes. is a wonderful, uh, wonderful statement. What does this mean in terms of uh, the tourist? It means that, you know, for us, nature, you know, is what you're going to enjoy here. You don't need to add anything. Even though we do have, you know, comfort, you know, um, your, your visit can be very comfortable and everything. Uh, it's all about nature. It's all about, you know, natural things. You, know, you can enjoy um, pure life. Pure life. 
no artificial ingredients. What is your definition of Pura Vida? Everything's well, you know, we are very positive and we are really happy people because we've been lucky. We love to have people come and, and share with us this magic that we have in, in our corner of paradise. Costa Rica is a Catholic country and the roots of religion run deep. Villages, large and small, have a westward-facing church where congregations gather faithfully for spiritual guidance and social connection. But Costa Ricans are open-minded and tolerant of all religious practices. Faith is not a dividing presence. I visited the ruins of the Church of Ujaras, built in the 16th century as a tribute to the infamous painting of the Virgin. Discovered by a fisherman, the painting was transported to the small village of Ujaras. Once there, it was miraculously locked in place. No amount of effort could wrest it from its chosen home. This church was constructed around it. A majestic and haunting sight, despite the ravages of earthquakes, floods, and the passage of time. What a perfect metaphor for the character of a nation. Costa Ricans find their religion in the Catholic doctrine, but their true faith lies in the natural world. These hallowed walls still stand, and yet the jungle rises all around them. Ancient stone kissed by fresh greenery. Birds perched comfortably in crumbling windows and archways, a symbolic dance of two powerful forces effortlessly entwined. The heart of Costa Rica undeniably lies at the center of its vast ecosystem. The thick of the rainforest awaits me.